You are listening to 600 Second Saga. Today's feature is Mallhead by Zoltan Komar. The noise of construction wakes me up in the morning. Turning my head to the side, I notice that a yellow string cordons off my sleeping wife. There's a tiny excavator on her forehead, and one-inch-long workers are demolishing her face with concrete crushers. A black sign on the yellow line reads, Wife Under Construction. Great. She must have ordered this one, too, from her favorite online beauty shop. No matter how much, I keep telling her she doesn't need any of this stuff. I watch as the crane lowers my wife's new nose into the dugout red pit in the center of her face. It's quite a pretty nose, I admit. A few smudgy workers hammer her face using all of their strength. The others are just sitting on her ear, drinking beer. One even stands up and pisses down onto the pillow. There's a little guy holding a piece of paper. That must be the blueprint. I peek over the tiny man's shoulder and gaze at the drawing. Say, it looks rather nice, but it could be better. Using two fingers, I pinch the blueprint out from the guy's hands. He yells at me, shaking his micro fist, but I flick him away. Then I sneak out to the kitchen holding a magnifying glass and a very sharp pencil. I make a few changes in the drawing. Then another few. Make the nose look thinner, the forehead a more narrow, so on. When I'm done, I hand back the blueprint to the little guy. After a few hours, they finish the job. A man dressed in a suit arrives. He cuts the string with his scissors, drinks a few glasses of champagne, and then staggers back to a matchbox-sized limousine he arrived in. He drives away, disappearing behind the closet. I hardly recognize my wife. She's so beautiful. Other people stare at her, too. In the streets, tourists come over to us. They ask if they could take a photo of themselves with my wife's face. A telephone call arrives. A noted international architectural magazine would like to publish a picture of her head. After a week, they send us a copy. Her portrait? is on the fourth page, along with a newly built shopping mall in Yokohama. I keep praising myself for making those changes in the blueprint. But then, the accident happens. On a windy day, walking on the street, a strange noise comes from my wife's head. A cracking sound. Like if something collapsed behind her eyebrows. A little piece of her forehead falls out, down to the pavement. And then, through the hole... I can see the wrinkled brain in the skull. What's more, one of her eyeballs slackens. It seems like it might pop out from its socket any minute. When she gazes down, you can clearly see the muscle line that holds the eye in its place. She looks pretty awful. I keep consoling her, wiping her hanging, crying eyeball with a hanky, telling her that one of the miniature workers must have fucked up the blueprint. So we order the face reconstruction beauty pack again. I take my wife to bed and open the package. Tiny workers crawl out and pester her face. I take away their blueprint and show them the open architectural magazine. They look at it, scratching their chins. Then they nod and begin to work. Seemingly, they want to start from scratch. They slide tiny dynamite sticks into her face dimples, then run into shelter. Soon, an explosion tears my wife's head into bloody pieces of meat. Then, construction begins. I feel tired. I fall asleep leaving them to do the work. In the morning, upon waking, I find a miniature version of the shopping mall in Yokohama where my wife's head had been. Tsuki? she asks. Her voice echoes through the small building along with calming music. Tiny Japanese teenagers with party-colored hair wander around behind her window eyes. They wave to me, then venture into a sushi bar. This was Mallhead by Zoltan Komar. Mallhead was first published in the Missing Slate magazine. Zoltan Komar was born June 14, 1986. He lives in Nirhaza, Hungary. He writes surreal short stories and published in several literary magazines, including Horror, Sleaze and Trash, Drabblecast, The Phantom Drift, Gone Lawn, Bizarro Central, 
Bizarro Cast, Thrice Fiction Magazine, The Missing Slate, The Gap-Toothed Madness, Wilderness House Literary Review, and Kafka Review. His first English book, titled Flamingos in the Ashtray, 25 Bizarro Short Stories, was released by Burning Bulb Publishing in 2014. His second English book, titled To Morjin, was released by Morbid Books in the same year, and his third collection, Turd Mummy, was released by Strange House Books in 2016. Music is provided by Mads. Learn more about 600 Second Saga, our authors, how to submit your flash fiction, and how to support the podcast in the show notes. This has been Mariah Avix and 600 Second Saga.